What's going on people, it's GBP baby, welcome to another video, it's currently 11.51pm on Tuesday the 22nd of June, not 22nd sorry, 27th, um, I can't lie yesterday's video wasn't very good purely because I was <laughs> a little bit waved, but um, we're back as normal and we'll get straight into things, so this is my dollar index daily, you can see how yesterday we moved lower as expected um so price fell down into the fair, into the daily fair value gap that was created traded through it and then we've uh, retraced back up since i've marked out the 50 percent level off this bullish order block that's why i have delineated here and then if we drop down to a four hour chart we can also see this four hour breaker there's a swing low swing low and then this is the swing high in between um yeah, so if we go to a high, a low time frame, you'll be able to see that breaker a lot more clearly. Swing low, swing, swing low, swing low, and then swing high. And then I've marked out that breaker. Sp specifically, this breaker, the candle I'll be looking at would be this one. It also happens to uh, line up with this fair value gap. So I am expecting lower dollar, you, but you can see that we are clearly consolidating within um, within this daily fair value gap. I wouldn't be surprised if tomorrow we found ourselves to continue to sell. Con I wouldn't be surprised if tomorrow we found ourselves continuing to consolidate within this fair value gap and then after what I want to see is I want to see us leave the range and expand lower. So you can see that we've kind of been consolidated already but after consolidation we can anticipate expansion and that's likely to happen once we leave this range because what will happen is this range will get rebalanced and then we should expand lower, work our way towards this 50% daily, 50% um, of the daily order block which is mean threshold and then I'll see if price wants to run down into the breaker. Now you'll also see this massive volume uh, liquidity void here. We did wick down to it, but we haven't actually traded into it. So this is what you call a liquidity void. There's been no trade in between this price and this price. So I'm also going to mark that out because it's likely price is going to want to pull into that. Again, um, hinting and adding confluence to the likelihood of there being lower dollar. But very interesting how you can see our price is respecting the low of the daily fair value gap and the high of it. And this is what uh, price tends to do. You'll see that we're starting to consolidate within that. As soon as we leave, I wanna see us, like I said, aggressively expand lower. So what does that mean for Euro? It means higher Euro, of course. And I've got my markings out on Euro as well. So I'll just quickly run through what I have delineated. I marked out this very small fair value gap. This is an inverted fair value gap. We traded on the upside, then the downside, and then the upside again. So if price does return back to this, I wanna see it act as support. You see that today we traded quite aggressively higher, pushing up into this bearish order block and trying to reach for um, this daily rejection, daily rejection block, four hour order block and the daily consequent encroachment. So I'll start with, uh, I'll go through what each one of these are. So this here is the open of the rejection block. So this wick, I see this as a rejection block. So once, pr once price reaches up there, I'd expect us to find some kind of resistance. I've also marked out the consequent encroachment, which is the 50% level of the wick. And then I also have a four hour, uh, four hour bearish order block up there as well. So these PDRAs resting up here is what I want to see price um, um, try to reach for. However, as you can see right now, similar to dollar, we are consolidated within this four hour fair value, uh, this four hour bearish order block. Yes, we've traded through it, but um, we want to, I want to see our price treats the 50% level. And I've also marked out this consequent encroachment of this wick as well. However, I do think it's unlikely that price is going to want to draw all the way down here. I think it's more likely that we'll probably consolidate around the 50% level of this bullish order block. And the same way I expect dollar to expand lower, I'd like to see um, euro expand higher. We also have this fair value gap between here and here. I haven't actually marked that out, so I'll do that now. And you can see we just type we just tapped into it. So that's another reason why I'd want to see price go up into this. I want to see it fill this um, this range and make it a balanced price range. Again, added confluence as to why I want to see higher euro. We'll drop down to the one hour. Um, and you will well, actually, no, we'll drop down to the 15 minute and we can see our price traded today. You'll see through London, we moved higher, came down between London and New York, continued to move higher, made a high, then dropped off precipitously, trading back into this. Uh, this is that daily fair, um, inverted fair value gap, and you can see our price is finding support on it. So we traded through it, came down, 
traded back up again away from it, found support and left. The fact that we found support here again adds confluence and reason as to why I want to see price continue to trade higher. We've created a nice fair value gap here and a nice swing, uh, temporary swing low here, short term swing low, sorry. So it'll be interesting to see if price wants to take out this short term swing, uh, short term, short term south side liquidity and then start to trade higher tomorrow. That's pretty much everything, guys. Um, I did make, I did actually execute a trade today, actually. I do want to mention that. I need to, where was it? Yes. So from here up to here, this small move here, I did trade that because on the hourly, there was a fair value gap I had my eyes on, which is here. And obviously time plays a big role, but at, I think it was around 7.30 or 8.30. Yeah, 8.30, 8. 8 oh no my bad okay no, this was where my trade was so i waited for price to come back into this fair value gap and a bullish order block so this was a perfect entry just as the uh, new york session was starting the new york session is this blue line to this blue line oh sorry no this blue line to this blue line price came down i entered here and then my target was this you can see we traded higher we did wick back down on the 8 30 news um embargo Luckily, my stop loss, uh, I positioned my stop loss just at the 50% of this bullish order block. And then you can see price traded away and aggressively at the 50% level as well, higher. And then eventually we filled in that fair value gap completely before coming back down. I let go of my position here. It was nice to see that price managed to continue higher though. And you can see since then, we've just been consolidating in this range. And then I'm waiting again, as I said before, I'm, I'm expecting some kind of expansion outside of this range. So we have buy side liquidity resting up here, sell side resting down here. I have a bullish bias, therefore I'd like to see price expand to the, to the upside tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna quickly mark that out as buy side liquidity. And yeah, that's pretty much everything to be honest. Um, I have my, again, I have my eyes on this four hour bearish order block, which is over here. And it'll be interesting to see what price does tomorrow. So that's been everything guys, this has been GBP Baby um, and I will see you in the next video. Peace!